One weekend a year, the quiet of rural Idaho is blown to smithereens by gun-toting, target-shooting, explosion-loving regular folks. We'll take you to Boomer Shoot, where almost anything is a target. Tomorrow on the show. Welcome back, everyone. We're here in the, uh, this is the big ballroom at the Fairmont Hotel. We're here for the uh, Seattle Celebrity Waiters Auction. And this is my table. I'm responsible for this table and that one over there. The theme, as you can tell, is Cowboys for our table. They've got a uh, hula stuff going on over there. There's a whole bunch of other insanity back there. Pretty soon, they're going to open the doors. Everyone comes in. And what we try to do is encourage people to, uh, to spend money. Again, it all goes to Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. For instance, some of the waiters will take away all the silverware, and then they'll say, you want your silverware? Give me $50 and I'll give you your silverware. Or over here, these guys are going to let girls get up in grass skirts and bikini tops and do hula dances on top of the table. So who knows what we're going to have to do to all raise money for the uh, Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. I'm not looking forward to that door opening up. We'll see what happens in just a bit. But first, have you seen these drinks? Red Bull, Monster, or, uh, or Whoop, Whoop. I can't say it on television. A highly caffeinated drink that's uh, taking the country by storm. Things go better with Coca-Cola. Things go better with Coke. In earlier days, Coke was the real thing. Then came the coffee craze. Now comes the new caffeine fix, high energy drinks. Monster, Venom, Rockstar, among other tantalizing names. Obviously, Whoop Ass is a, is a name that sets us apart quite a bit. With, yes, Whoop Ass, Seattle-based Jones Soda is joining the energy drink rage. Statistically, 18% of uh, teenagers in a recent, a recent survey were drinking energy drinks on a regular basis. Just check out the crowd at the Red Bull-sponsored Flugtag in Portland. There's no doubt who's the target of all this marketing. 18 to 24-year-old males already spending well over $200 million a year on energy drinks. They pointed out to us, and we're the ones who were going to drink it, so, and it got me. Kevin Ty was your basic healthy college student when he fell for the buzz and literally found energy drinks addicting. There are these new things, you know, they got the small bottles, so, you know, it got me interested. So I, I tried one, and then I tried two or three or four, and I just kept getting them. Eventually, all of that caffeine would catch up with him in a very scary way. Caffeine has been called the most popular mind-altering drug in the world. Consumed by 80% of Americans, it's not just addictive, it can also increase insomnia and even heart palpitations. And then for people who suffer from anxiety, caffeine's not a good idea. Caffeine and sugar together aren't a good idea for people with anxiety. It's kind of like adding fuel to the fire. Nutritionist Kathleen Putnam says it's the short-term pick-me-up of energy drinks that makes them so addictive. To be on this roller coaster ride throughout the day of getting that boost of energy and feeling better and your mood goes up and your energy goes up and your hunger's gone and then you have this crash where then you're looking for it again. It's a ride Kevin knows all too well. He usually drank six to eight cans of Red Bull a day. I have one day that I remember uh, I had 18. That's right, 18. That's the caffeinated equivalent of more than 25 Cokes. One day on I-90, Kevin says all that caffeine finally caught up with him. Driving all of a sudden I get this pain in my chest, which I'd never felt before. I'm like, that's odd. That's not right. His doctor said Kevin was too young to be having chest pains like the ones he experienced. That's when Kevin confessed his caffeine obsession. And he's like, you're kidding me. You, you, you drink, what? He was flabbergasted, so he's like, you need to quit. You need to, you need to stop this. Caffeine can raise blood pressure and caffeine can raise a heart rate. And so if anybody's prone to heart disease or hypertension, there would be some concern or heart disease in the family. It is now months later, and except for the occasional Diet Coke, Kevin has kicked the caffeine habit. He's feeling better. Still, every now and then, Kevin says he craves the buzz. I realized I'm past that, and I realized that I don't want to go back. And if I think... I can and just have a few, then it might all start over and that would, uh, it would not make my day. 
You don't have to give up those drinks. You don't have to give up those drinks. Just remember, there's caffeine or taurine in it. You want to make sure you hydrate. And if you want to support a local company making a really incredible taurine caffeine drink, uh, uh, Jones Soda. Go to king5.com. We'll link you over to their site. Speaking of, so you guys sell these drinks. Is that what works? For 20 bucks? Minimum. And, may I sample one? You sure can. You have to sample oh the whole thing. No way. Oh. Well, how am I going to sell anything at my day? Well, I'm not in a bikini. I don't have this kind of stuff. Well, we'll see how it goes. We'll take a quick commercial break. Come right back. Tom, you got to try this.